Good morning, I'm Neva Reti Manu and this is your Morning News Fix for Tuesday 20th of February. In this update, the Social Development Minister says a welfare system reset will help New Zealand reach child poverty targets. Louise Upston's crackdown includes check-ins with long-term beneficiaries and sanctions for those not meeting job seeker obligations. Also, the Minister for Child Poverty Reduction, she says a large number of kids in hardship are in benefit-dependent homes – but she assures there'll be no change to the Child Poverty Act. I personally worked with the last government to ensure that we had a piece of legislation that the National Party and opposition could support, so that hasn't changed. But a researcher says punitive measures for beneficiaries only make the poor poorer. Auckland University Pensions and Intergenerational Equity Hub Director Susan St John says the government's not acknowledging the impact the past few years of difficult times has had. It's somehow implied that there's been an outbreak of laziness amongst beneficiaries. Good news for Canterbury fire crews with respite from gale force winds in store. More than 150 firefighters have been battling two blazes burning since last week, as winds reached up to 120 kilometres an hour in the Canterbury High Country. However, Met Service meteorologist John Law says this should calm over the next few days and drier weather and settled conditions will follow. The Port Hills fire has been burning since Wednesday, while the Waikaria Valley fire started on Sunday night. Both fires are contained. Heat restrictions, slowing down trains might have to be something commuters learn to live with. In the first month of 2024, the Wellington region has faced more train delays on days with heat restrictions than all of last year. When tracks heat above 40 degrees, speeds are forced to go down to 40 kilometres an hour. Regional Council Chairman Darren Ponter doubts there's an easy fix for it, and he says it's something people have to put up with. Another shaky start to the year for health sales across the country. CoreLogic data shows there were more than 3,100 sales in January, up just 2% on the same time last year. Behind last year, it's the second slowest start since 1983. Chief Property Economist Calvin Davidson says this weakness highlights the variability in the market. Hopes will start planning for the long term when it comes to the ageing infrastructure of police. The Police Association says some stations may close due to issues including black mould, leaky roofs and nailed up windows. Police Deputy Chief Executive of Corporate Operations Ruth Curry says they need a long-term asset management plan as things can't change overnight and she recognises some staff are working in very challenging environments. I'm really impressed by how they continue to operate and do some amazing work in our communities in those environments. In sport, Hurricanes coach Clark Laidlaw sees no issue with continued restrictions on the number of minutes All Blacks can play in Super Rugby. Test players are subject to load management, although the rules are less stringent than in a World Cup year. NRL League has given the bunker the power to step in and rule on any field goal this season. And former Central Pulse coach Yvette mccausland Jerry has ruled herself out of a return to netball to mentor the Silver Ferns. I'm Neva Reti Manu and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.